Hollywood Times Square. I'm Naima. Um, everybody knows me from Winning America's Next Top Model, but I've been up to a lot since the show. I have uh, published a book, um, Year Before Last. Last year, I released my first musical single. It's on iTunes and YouTube, where you can see the video. Um, I toured it last year um, as well, touring, opening up for LA Fashion Week, Reno Fashion Week, thousands of people. It's amazing. Um, I'm going to perform that tonight, acoustically. And then um, I'm also going to be performing my new single, Into the Sun. I used to be in a uh, progressive rock band, which is crazy. <laughs> um, but I wanted to write more music that people could really relate to. So yeah, it's, it's a really cool event here with the pre-Grammy Gala by Stadium Music Enterprise. Um, my good friend and label mate Josh Stevens is going to be performing with me. and. Um, oh, and I am doing a soft launch of my clothing line, which I am wearing, um, which is cool. I've been working on it for about a year or so. Um, yeah, it's a fun little cute clothing line, nice dresses, t-shirts for guys and girls. And you know, writing behind the scenes is, is definitely like an art form and an industry in itself. And so you write for all these people and you... you um, give them great hits and it's great you get to see it like reach the world and reach other people but there's nothing like actually writing a record for yourself and then performing it it's uh, has a whole different thing so branching into that has been truly like an honor and cool that people have accepted it as much because it's hard to go from being a writer to then being the actual artist and you don't realize how much like the artist has to deal with you know like like a lot of interviews and like a lot of um, press and then the performance so I give it up for artists a lot you know especially now that I have to be the face well Naima gives me a lot of tips <laughs> she's used to being in front of the camera so she'll, she'll give me always tips and be like don't do this do that and so uh, I just really trust the people around me and then try and do my best not to look completely off and make everyone look bad <laughs> look bad you know so I figured if I'm gonna come out as my own artist there has to be kind of a reason why I should come out because I could just write records but I wanted it to be like a full story and a full, you know, uh, artistic uh, representation of me. And so I went through a tough time in my life and I figured why not write about that tough time. And then if other people can grow and adapt to it and, and listen to it and help them, that's why I should be an artist. I shouldn't just be an artist because I can write hot records. I should be an artist because I represent something. And so I figured I would be the one that would represent that the best. I think I would be performing The Kingdom because it definitely represents the part of the relationship that was like destructive and everything was coming down and, and I think translating that into a Grammy performance would be pretty epic. You know, we would have brought like strings and all this, like we're performing it tonight and so, but we're doing an acoustic like um, you know, slowed down version, a little more intimate. So hopefully this is how we would do it at the Grammys, but we're going to do it at the pre-Grammys party for you guys. Come on!